Awo awo salam tana ina yistelin greetings ina arasi adina stefari nein. Um, there's a couple of announcements that we would like to make, and I think we had touched on briefly. First of all, Shabbat Shalom, send that salam. This is the uh, um, the forty forty uh, sixth um, in Dihem Yohanan or Aikat. Ikev, Ikev, or, or Ikev, 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 Akev, Akev, or Ikev. It's spelled Ikev, but actually it's Ikev, Ikev, and that's the Hebrew for if you if you um if you follow if you follow if you follow. It's the second word. And it's the first distinctive word in the Padasha or the Kufl. It's the first distinctive word in the Padasha or the Kufl. Now, um, let's put this down for a moment. Um, and let's get into uh, a few things on this uh, 40, this 40, um, uh, six weekly or read or Torah Kufl or Torah portion. So that's an hour man to do so how I'm like a bit to answer the root command. Okay, let's get our um um pens and paper and also the sacred scripture. This is a couple of this is just some of the you know, preparation. We have to invest in our future. We have to invest in our future, we have to study, show ourselves approved, we gotta invest in our future, we gotta take that personal responsibility. We don't have um, any established institutions, any Ethiopian Hebrew institutions, or any true Rastafari institutions as of yet, but this is the first step. This is the first step. We have to invest in our future. And we also have to understand the importance of the tithes and the offerings and, and the King of Kings economy, the King of Kings economy. Now, what we're going to touch on is a few things, like you said, we want to um, touch on um, briefly. And let's just move this over here. A few things we want to touch on briefly in this 46th Sabbath. One of them is um, one of our new um, books right here. I think we showed this before. This is the preliminary notes, preliminary notes on the Haile Selassie, the first Bible, or we know as the Book of the Seven Seals. This is this is like book one. This is uh, getting started. This is getting getting started as far as understanding exactly the importance of the Met of Gadus or the Hanus Selassie, the first Bible, which is otherwise known as the Book of the Seven Seals, the Met of Gadus. So we have a couple of new books, as we've touched on previously and we touched on before, a couple of new books that are currently available. Simply type um, uh, LOJ society.org in your browser, in your search, bookmark, um, bookmark the website, click on um, the books tab, and when you click on the books tab, you'll see some of the latest um, and available books that we have. And in this uh, 50th Jubilee year, we've begun to um, print and to publish our own uh, Rastafari and Ethiopian Hebrew books. And some of the new books that we just touched on briefly is uh, Rastafari Preliminary Notes on the Hala Selassie, the first Bible, or the Book of the Seven Seals. Get your copy, get your copy, get your copy today. You understand? There's going to be more, y'all willing, in this particular series. And we're going to touch on this one a little bit more. We also have the, um, the Mesmora Dawi, which is a facsimile of the, the manuscript the manuscript, the actual formatting of the Psalms of David in the Royal Amharic. Now this is a little bit more advanced and this is more for the Nabah Bay, for the House of Reading, for those who are seriously studying the Fidels and are studying the Amharic language among Sinai. This is this is a good um, a good document for that. It's a small it's a smaller book and it's mostly mostly Amharic because like we say this is more for those who are uh, at some level of um, study 
in the Nabob Bait or the House of Reading. And we're going to go through explaining that a little bit more as well. But this is one of the books that we really are very, um, very um, pleased and excited to um, bring forward, you know. And this is uh, Mesmura Dawit or the Parallel, the Parallel Bible. In other words, the King of Kings and the King James Version both are side by side in this particular in this particular volume that we have here. This is uh, the book right there, and it's also known as the um, Amharic Psalms of um, David and the, K, the English KJV or the King James Version. So the King of Kings text and the King James text is side by side. So then, now we can really study and compare um, the, the version that we're familiar with, many of us being familiar with the King James Version, we can compare that and contrast it with the King of Kings, um, Royal Amharic. And this one has um, many footnotes and, and, and there's some commentaries, introduction footnotes and commentaries by yours truly, um, touching on some of the, we could say, the basic, the basic um, subject matters, the basic things that one should understand or know concerning the Psalms of David, as well as within this particular um, version that we have, the PBV. We call these the PBV versions. The PBV versions, or the PBV Bibles or books, are the parallel Bibles. In other words, that means that the, the English, King James, and the King of Kings are side by side. Now, what we also hope to do, like we did with this particular version, we had actually revised and updated the, the first version, the first um, edition. So the first, this is still the first edition, but this is the revised one. This is the one that's now available. Those who have ordered um, a previous copy, we're going to try to work with you to get you a copy of, um, of, of this, which is the updated version of it um, with a set of notes and commentaries that are extremely important for us as Ethiopian Hebrews. And so it's an it's a Ethiopian Hebrew and Royal Rastafari commentary that is contained in this Mesmur Dawit or Psalms of David parallel Bible. This is one of our parallel Bibles. So also this can be found at the lojsociety.org and you can click on the books. It's on the, our books um, page which will you can see more of the available books that we have um, within the um, Haile Selassie Bible series. It's our actual series that we're going through, you understand? Um, in order for us to be able to study this a little bit more, um, for example, uh, in detail, here's what it says right here, the Amharic Psalms of David published in this first edition by the line of Jew society of his imperial majesty contains both the H.I.M. Haile Selassie, the first Bible, which is the 1954 AM or the Ameta Mehiret, which was 1961. So 1954 Ethiopia time was 1961 AD or Anno uh, Domini. Um, this is the Emperor's Bible, the officially authorized and revised and hard Bible, diligently compared side by side with the KJV or the King James Version the authorized King James 1611 A.D. version. Now, this Amharic English parallel Bible here is specifically designed for students and disciples of the Bible in particular. The only two translated by any sovereign ruler, namely the King James Version and the H.M. House of the First Revised Amharic Bible Version. It's a practical format, this text compilation book designed for all those who are interested in comparative Biblical translations of the Holy Scriptures, especially the Imperial, Ethiopic, or the Royal Amharic Bible, and the old um, English version of the KJV, the King James um, version of the Bible. In essence, both the Arab, which is the uh, acronym um, Revised Amharic Bible, R-A-B, we call that the Arab. So when we refer to, you probably hear us use this expression, the Arab. In the Arab, or Rab, it says such and such. And the Rab is the Revised and Hard Bible, or the Emperor's Bible, or Havasasi's Bible, or the Book of the Seven Seals. These are all descriptors 
of His Imperial Majesty's Bible. But these two versions, KJV, King James Version, and the Rab, the Revised Amharic Bible, or the Royal Amharic Bible, you can say, are the only two royally authorized versions of the Holy Bible to be diligently translated and officially published for their respective Christian peoples and churches, namely that of Great Britannia and Imperial Ethiopia or the Ethiopian Orthodox Tawahedo Church. This is an exception, one not since surpassed or even followed by any other sovereign or Christian rulers in the entire modern world. Therefore, we are pleased, happy, and give heartfelt praises to Jah, to Yah, in the new and prophetic name of Rastafari, to have this book, the Amharic Psalms of David, published in the 400th anniversary year of the first printing and publication of the King James Version of the 1611 Bible, as well, if you've been paying attention and following up on our um, vlogs and other posts on our channel, the Ethiopian World uh, uh, Net, on the YouTubes, you will know that we're in the Jubilee year, the Jubilee year since July 23rd. And this was updated in time, although initially we did not put all that together, but when the King Sabbath came along, it was revealed to us, as we discussed elsewhere, that not only is, is it was the Earth Day of the King of Kings um, a Sabbath day, which made it um, especially... Um, set apart a special sign to us, but also July 23rd is the um, anniversary of the publication. Every July 23rd since 1961, anniversary of the publication of the Hila Selassie the first, um, the Hila Selassie the first Bible, and this book was also updated in time to reflect that. So as a companion to this book, this one here, the PB of the Parallel Bible, is this, the Amharic Manuscript. You understand? We're doing the Amharic Manuscript series from the Hala Selassie Bible, where we can focus on certain particular texts as we focus on the Mesmur Dawit in this particular version, and we give thanks to um, Lapsley Brooks and the Lamb Foundation um, for their assistance and, and help in the ministry and publication of um, His Majesty's Bible and other Amharic, um, good Amharic books. You can actually check that out on the internet. Um, so these are two of the books, and then the third that we have also published in this particular season. So what we like to do is keep one up to date in the breast of any new books that we are producing or that we have published and any new books that are available. This is one that we really have um, meditated and, 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 and prayed on and, and really head rested with Ja on for a long time. We could say almost since, since uh, 19, what was it, 1991 um, when the Holocaust, the first Bible, was um, first given to us and when it was first revealed to us that his Imperial Majesty Kedamawi Hadis Lassi's Bible, Moan Bethesem Negeda Yehuda's Bible, is actually the prophetic book of the seven seals as per Revelation chapter 5, verse 5. Now, preliminary notes on the Hila Selassie, the first Bible, the H.I.M. Hila Selassie, the first Amharic Bible, goes into much more details concerning what we mean by the Book of the Seven Seals, um, as well as the history, um, the history of the whole process um, of, for example, let me just give you this right here, besides the introductory about yours truly, we say, um, until now, okay, about the last part of Revelation, the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, and the Book of the Seven Seals revealed and spoken of in the Book of the revelation of St. John. Now, this book, this particular book right here, this particular book, Preliminary Notes, Rastafari Preliminary Notes, this book discusses the Judeo of Christianity in Ethiopia, the Bible, the Queen of Sheba, the Black Hebrews, the Lion of Judah, um, the monk, Ethiopian monk named Abu Rumi or Arome, 
and the history of translations prior to the Emperor's Bible and reveals as well and explains why H.I.M. Hamas Lassie the First and Mark's Bible is the Holy Writ. In other words, why Hamas Lassie's Bible is the Rastafari and the Ethiopian Hebrews, the true Beta Israel's um, Holy Scriptures. You understand why is it our Holy Writ in this time and in this prophetic dispensation for the Ethiopian Hebrews, the black the faithful black Jews and the elect Rastafari in the new Ethiopian millennium, the new age. Now, this edition, this particular edition right here, as well as um, other books that we have uh, published and produced, namely the Mesmura Dawit, the Psalms of David, which is uh, uh, highly recommended to get the Amharic, the PBV, the Parallel Bible version, is highly recommended. Not because we, just because we have done an audience like that, but because of its content. And because there's nothing else out there, you know what I'm saying, on the market or out there that's available that really speaks to those issues and those subject matters that are important to us as the once lost but now found Beta Israel. But now, this particular edition right here that we discussed, this particular edition right here that we discussed, right, um, has been published in the 50th anniversary or jubilee year of the very first printing and publication of the Emperor Haile Selassie's Selassie the first revised and hard Bible, the imperial authorized version of the Ethiopian Holy Bible, published originally on the 23rd of July, 1961. And this is also, so these two things also are coming together. The fact that it's the 400th anniversary year of the first printing and publication of the King James version of the Bible, 1611 A.D., as well as the 50th anniversary of the first printing and publication of the Metaf Kedus, or the Rab, the Revised and Hark Bible of the Lion of the Tribe of Judah, His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie, the first elect of God, King of Kings of Ethiopia. So this is very important to us. So we highly advise this Bible as a basic primer, I mean this book, excuse me, concerning the Bible as a basic primer, a kind of a getting started. This is why we named it preliminary, preliminary notes. Now there's more to come that we want to touch on, but we want to give an opportunity to actually to, um, to, to announce, promote this particular book as well as some of the companion books that we have available. So please, Take the time and the opportunity to um, type into your web browser or your smartphone, uh, lojsociety.org, and check us out there on the web. There's live streaming. There's a host of other um, um, uh, materials, um, free materials, some things that um, for nominal uh, um, donation, um, purchase, for purchase as well. Um, and we hope to make more of these things available, but that's basically even for less, for less money. We, we're sorry the, the fact that some of these things have to even be so-called sold, because I know there's a lot of you all out there that say, well, well, maybe it's too expensive, you all may think. But um, if we don't invest in our future, in the present time, we are not going to have any future that's going to be even worth worth living. So we have to begin where we're at. You understand? Know this is all done like FUBU, in a sense, for us and by us. So now there's more to come. Please stay tuned. And Shabbat Shalom, Sendet Salam, and um, more to come on this particular 46th Levitical, um Torah portion. All right? I love you all, brothers and sisters. Salam to Kainai Islam.